This is kind of a full circle moment because you actually broke the news that you got cast as Regina with, with me and E.T. I know. And I asked you, <laughs> what do you think Rachel McAdams' reaction will be? And do you remember what you said? Oh my God. Uh, mommy, <laughs> I love her. I love you. Mommy, in a respectful way. Yeah, mommy. Well, yeah. I phoned in a favor and we got her reaction for you. <gasps> what message would you give to the new Regina George? Oh my gosh, I, I don't think she can do any wrong. She is a f amazing, yeah. you know, and I, um, she's already got me beat with that voice. So <laughs> I'm just excited to see her incarnation and it's such a great character. It's so much fun to play. Uh -huh. So um, I hope she has a great time with it and, and I can't wait to see it. She's That's so crazy. Cool. She's, talking about She's so cool. She's so sick. I saw this and I was so geeked. She's oh, you did see it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I love her. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah, it. I mean, go to Google Alert on her name. Her I love name. it. Yeah. Yes. My grandma sent it to me. Actually. Of course. I bet they're my so proud. Oh, my grandma's so honest. We as women have to be able to support each other. Get in, loser. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Did either of you reach out to the OG cast members for any advice? One of the most special things for me was like hearing Tina's um, memories from filming the 2004 oh. movie and sort of yeah. asking her about what that was like and then her telling us about it and how that they didn't know what they were making at the mm. time mm. and then sort so of cool. after the fact, it, it like blew up. Right, um, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. I didn't say anything. I want to know what your early memories are of the OG Mean Girls because I'm sorry, but y'all were toddlers in 2004, you know? <laughs> yeah, I was six. You're okay. So you it's remember like Mean Girls? toddler. No. No, I, I don't remember when I first saw it. No. Uh, we were sort of all talking about it earlier. It's yeah. like just always been around. It's just always on, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, my family, we had a little portable DVD player, and Mean Girls was one of the DVDs that we owned. So I watched it over and over again from about. 2005 to 2009, that was on rotation. There's a photo of me watching it for probably the first time because um, it was when it was when I was four. So oh. and it came out in 2004. The, yeah, there's a there's a picture of me in like a brown cowboy hat, and it's ridiculous. You know what picture I'm talking? About? I'll, yeah. I'll, okay. I've I'll seen it. I'll show because it's quite funny. And I'm in, a, I'm in an all like gray outfit, and I have like a stain on my shirt, huge, and like big like sunglasses. Um, That's how you're watching Mean Girls, huh? I guess. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Like Lindsay Lohan is in the background. Um, I was just, I was just serving. I, I believe it. I just love that there's photographic evidence, like of this I know, moment. You very, know, I love it. Sus, it's yeah. awesome. Do you like gum? Sure. Oh no, I don't have any. I, I was just. You're a mess. And Gary, how does it feel to uh, be the ones carrying on the legacy in this new form of the movie? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of pressure because there are so many fans of the 2004 movie and the musical, mm -hmm. and I am one of them. So, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's you don't want to let the fans down, you also don't want to let yourself down. Right. So it feels very important and it feels like a big responsibility, but it was something that I really wanted to do. I mean, who, mm -hmm. who says no to an opportunity mm -hmm. like this? To mm -hmm. work with Tina Fey, um, to work with the music team, to work with the directors, so yeah. uh, it was sort of, the, the fear didn't didn't um, overcome me enough to, to say no. <laughs> it's one of those things that I feel like you have to say yes, right? Like this Absolutely, is girls, right? Yeah. And you know, obviously, I, us fans, we don't know what to, what to expect, right? Because it's not exactly a 2004 reboot. Uh -huh. It's not exactly a film version of the Broadway musical. So Chris, how are you describing Mean Girls? Uh, it's sort of all of it, mm. you know? Yeah. It's, um, it's obviously story-wise, similar like you sort of know where it's gonna go it's not a surprise yeah, yeah yeah and you wouldn't i don't think want it to be no. um but it it the path it takes is so different mm. and it takes influence from all these places and it pays homage in the way it should but not like too much and it still these characters live in their own universe and have their own lives we're gonna make her pay <laughs> All we've done is make Regina hotter and revive the wet look. Dance break. But there will be music, right? <laughs> <laughs> there will be music. Because yeah, I know a lot of fans were concerned about that when they saw the trailer. I mean, what message do you have for those fans who are like, where are the songs at? They're in it. I mean, it wasn't even they did them. You did them. We did them. You did yeah, them. Yeah, they're in it. They're in it. Okay. They're in it. I love it. You just them. have to watch it to see. That's true. <laughs> Katie 
Renee, of course, you played Regina on Broadway, yeah. but from the trailer alone, I could tell this is still like a new age of Regina George, yeah. even though you played her before. So how important was it for you to you know, put your Renee spin on Regina? I mean, I feel like uh, it was. However, I also think like the way that I approach things or like look at things is kind of like a lack thereof. Like I don't really, I try not to think too much into mm. something. I try to just like do it and do it how I feel like I'm gonna say it in that moment. Cause the second I start to overthink, then I start to kind of be something that I'm authentically not. Mm. Um, and that's not like what I wanted for this. It's also not where I'm at in my life sure. at the moment. I quite like where I'm at mentally. Um, so I think like, obviously it's very different because when I was doing it on Broadway, I was 18, 19, and now I'm 23, 24. Um, so I'm a different person. Yes. I like wear myself different. I wear my like characteristics differently. I've rid myself of certain insecurities and I got a whole new batch fresh the f in. Um, so, you know, I'm just, I'm a different person, but I also think like, uh, a cinematic medium is more catered to the acting that I like to do. I love it. Um, I like the intimacy um, and I like the like nuance that you don't mm. necessarily get on stage. Katie pushed her. Regina really should be lifting through her glutes. So yeah, what do you guys want fans to know about what you have cooked up here with this latest version of the film? And uh, what are you most proud of? Like, what are you gonna take away from this experience for yourselves? Ooh. I mean, for me, one of the huge reasons why I took this job is because I really wanted to be in a musical because I love musicals. Okay. Yeah. So for me, it was, it was a really, um, you know, it was scary to step into this new space and to challenge myself in this way, but nothing sort of beat the feeling of like doing a musical number and it actually being real and not just like in my bedroom. Yeah. Like that, yeah. that feeling was so amazing. So it was like a dream come true. Like an oh, fantasy come to life. I mean, like when I was a kid, I would just choreograph dances and songs in my bedroom and yeah. like, you know, pretend I was in a musical. Like I just, I You just too, Chris, it. right? Is that oh, what you yeah. did? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you were doing? We did it to Crazy Frog, though. You guys remember that? Crazy? What? I loved Crazy Frog. Oh, you got it. You know Wait. it. Yeah. You should sing it. I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> wow. No, it was, it was like it's like techno beats, but like it's for like, kids, and like it was a frog or something. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Cool. Yeah. Um, Renee, what do you want fans to know about what you guys have in store for us? I think what is very, very, very cool is um, it's a good group of people. Mm. It's a really good group of people, very important. Um, I think that like always translates. Uh, and it's also like really important to me. Like I like really like cherish the like um, relationships and friendships and like moments that like we shared on set and off. Uh, like I get excited when mm. I get to like see everybody and like come and do like press days. I was gonna say it makes days like this fun. Yeah, yeah it's, I can tell. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's yeah. really nice. Look at this thing! I can't Sexy. even see it! Like a face breast. <laughs>